As we learned in the previous video, economics, like mathematics, is a priori science. In the natural sciences, all knowledge is tentative. If astronomers spot a comet that moves faster than the speed of light, they'll check the measurements or conclude that Einstein's theory is wrong. We can imagine a day when the laws of physics operate differently, but it's not even clear what it means to find out that the Pythagorean theorem is false. It's possible that our universe doesn't conform to the Euclidean assumptions. The theorem will become useless while remaining true. Just as it's impossible to prove Pythagoras wrong by measuring triangles, it's nonsensical to prove economic laws by using statistics. Just as mathematicians would recoil from suggestions to base their discipline on empirical observations, so should economists. Mises did not consider his approach pioneering. He saw his work as codifying what good economists had been doing for centuries. Recognizing that social scientists have no constants or controlled experiments, his fight over methodology was protecting the genuine success of economics. Accepting economics as a priori science does not mean that we can acquire such knowledge locked in a closet. A tribal elder from the jungle who knows no money is unlikely to develop explanations of inflation. We need experiences to gain knowledge, but neither mathematicians nor economists need empirical data in the course of deriving results about triangles or money. The public must endorse or reject their explanations purely by thinking them through. There's simply nothing for them to test.